All right. I think that's working. Um, if not, well, uh, who knows? Let's start this. No, I really should check the audio levels. Let's just do that real quick. Real quick. There we go. Is it crackling now? How about now? Is that better? Also, high cause. Jukes, time for jukes. All right, so let's get straight to the biscuits. Um, since last, oh, I have coffee. I made coffee for myself and I forgot. It's warm, but not hot. All right. So, what was I doing last time? Let's go to the DOSBox X repo. Let's find the DOSBox X repo. As you can see, I've installed Adblock, uBlock Origin, because uh, I just couldn't deal with all the websites and their pop-ups, especially on such a small screen. Okay. Let's head on over to the GitHub. I think that's here. <laughs> okay, I'll fix the crackle. Is that better? Is this better? Does this help? What about this? What about this? Testing. Crackle. Crackle. Okay, so you're probably going to have to get 28%. Is that fine? Look, I'm... You're going to have to deal with the crackles because I have the worst setup. And... <laughs> gotcha. I have the worst setup, and I always complain about my sound setup, and I've paid money, and I'm going to get it fixed. I'm hiring the best sound, the sound people. They know things about sound. They told me, buy a Mac. So I've bought a Mac, 100% Mac, the Apple M1, and it's going to fix all my sound problems. April Fool's. Okay, so let's find my issue. Um, that's a pull request. Whoa, what's this? Is that a networking issue? Let's just check the networking stuff to see if there's any issues. Please, no. Don't say that, OBS. You managed to find breakage with a work CI. Also, hi, Kaz. Uh... I'm just going to quickly check the issue tracker to see if there's anything important I missed. Um, what the hell are you doing here? Okay. Scroll down a bit. Slackware 14? So this is the life of someone that uses Slackware. Um, their life is like hell. This is what you get when you use Slackware. Um, wow, they got, uh, they got all the windows going on there. Oh, you got a multi-lib problem. Oh, good luck fixing that, buds. All right, DOS build doesn't run. 
I'm just checking to make sure there's no fixes I need to take into my port, my branch, because for some reason, um, what's this, fix issue? For some reason, I've been working too much on the networking code. All right, so let's scroll all the way down and you'll see we had some code review. That's pretty cool. Um, and I replied using email, which cut all the threading. That's also cool. Thanks, GitHub. Um, then we had some discussions. And I'll have to read through that again in a bit. But let's just go to files changed and we'll check that out. Control C makes a heart symbol. Okay, yeah, so there's a new stable release. So let's find our DOSBox fire. Open it in a terminal so I can get work done. It didn't what? You've been lied to? Good. What about? All right, so let's see, let's git fetch everything. It makes a heart symbol in the VM. It's weird. If it happens, it happens. So off screen, I did attempt to make this work on Windows and we're going to look at that in a bit because I also fixed some bugs. But uh, did my stream just die? Oh no. Dear God. Please no. No. Nope, quite a lot. So Twitch's stream preview just froze. Thanks, Twitch's stream preview. I finally found it and I'm using it today. So that's pretty cool. So let's. Twitch's stream preview is trash. Well, yeah, I guess. Twitch's whole dashboard is trash. Well, let's, let's not be too hasty now. Oh, wait, let me scroll back. I asked you about your CI stuff at work. Um, can't pull anything from your Git because keys. Nice. You got a pang of the social disparity and you feel weird? Yeah, we're the Twitch elites. Um... It's fine. So let's also check out this Slurpy branch. Okay. And I'm going to check out... Did I, have I got the DOSBox remote added? You and your 60 followers. Wow. You're really doing it big time with your uh, five hour streams. Okay, let's have a quick look at what's happened in develop. Um, that was a bit OTT. I can't even... Yeah, not doing that again. Alright, let's see. What's happened? So they merged um, a pull request I did. Someone found that the PCAP code is just broken on macOS because the PCAP code... Um, has always been broken, but Windows and Linux are tolerant of it. So that's great. And so we're going to have to fix our code to incorporate that patch. Um, let's actually just see... X is broken on macOS. <laughs> yeah, but macOS is very finicky about its API. It often breaks simple things. But at least it fixes it, unlike Windows, which breaks simple things forever. Alright. So... It's time to rebase this. It now went, lol, let's go fuck arm devs. Um, basically... If you've been following the DOSBox X issues, um, a lot of the 
frustration recently has become from uh, Mac. Like, Big Sur says you don't have permission to launch DOSBox X. If I lay out candles in Mac SE formation and pray to the Holy Spirit of Steve Jobs, might I appease the Apple gods? FFS. Um, this is actually fixed. This shouldn't be open. Uh, might not have tested it yet. Um, but yeah, it's platform Mac is a whole bunch of fun for lots of different reasons, especially since this is an emulator and it has like dynamic code. Uh, and mainly the reason that Mac OS is so hard to develop for is because you have to pay so much money just to just to develop for it. And with open source, it's really difficult to do that just because, hey, Wikinia, Nia. Yeah, with Macs, you just, I don't have a Mac. I've never had a Mac. And as a result, I can't write code for Macs. So uh, I'm not sure if that's gatekeeping by Big Mac, but we're just not going to be able to fix bugs for it. So if you own a Mac, um, don't. People aren't going to fix bugs for your computer because they can't afford one. I'm gatekept indeed, because buy a burger. Yeah, oh. That just reminded me about the cursed McDonald's dream I had last night. I'm not sure if I want to get into it. Um, but I might. <sighs> I haven't. Go ahead. Oh, okay, so last night I dreamt that I was at a McDonald's. Let's hear the aside. There's no aside unless, like, can I... Do I have... Uh, do I have toilet installed? No, I don't. Uh, here's my aside screen. Um, and then we just do... Uh, perfect. Did that crash Vim? No, I haven't got Vim over. So this is my aside. Um... In my dream, I was going to the McDonald's bathroom, and for some reason, there was like 50 urinals, and there was like two stalls, and there was two people in the stalls, and they were talking to each other, which is a bit weird, um, but that's okay, this is McDonald's, sometimes that happens, I imagine. Um, I went to use the urinal because I can do that. And this kid came up next next to me. I'm at 51. I'm close to affiliate. I think I've had affiliate for a while, but I don't stream often enough to want to do that. Um, so yeah, this kid came up next to me. For some reason, out of all the urinals... And then he talked to me since he wanted me to get him to fix a computer for his mother. And then his mother came in and I'm just trying to pee and I couldn't pee because people were talking to me. And I told them, go away. I'll talk to you outside the McDonald's bathroom. And they left happily. Well, I was happy. I felt a bit weird. I was like, was I too rude? And so then... A bunch of women came in and they were pretending to use the urinals next to me and I, I couldn't pee because they were mocking me using the urinal. And so I left without using the urinal and then I realized I didn't wash my hands and so I was going back to the bathroom and then someone called me out at McDonald's saying, hey, if you want to use the bathroom just to be a big IT guy, like Jukes. And I don't know. I don't know what the hell this fever dream was, but I woke up and realized 
I'm never going to McDonald's again. That's my aside. The chat is speechless, I hope. Also, they got rid of the loaded avocado fries like two years ago, and I'm still mad. All right, let's rebase this. Uh, we're going to check this out as whip slurpy 5. Um, we're going to... The loaded avocado fries. Uh, let's see. Using Google's risky at the moment because it'll just show where I live. And part of the reason I installed Adblock is because it's like, oh, tech stuff near Duke's house. And I'm like, no, I don't want that on random sites. They're just fries and they have avocado on them. All right, my coffee's done. We've cleaned the Git repo here. Let's rebase this. Um, if you've ever wanted to know how to rebase like a topic branch onto this, um, what you do is you find the last commit like this, um, and you do git rebase um, onto upstream develop, and then you put the commit. Uh, sorry, not upstream develop, origin develop. And then we get the crashes and stuff. And that's how you rebase a topic branch. It's just like normal rebasing, but you put an onto. And so now we're going to get the any 2000 issue. Um, so let's find head. God. I hate when I see very, very, very long git stuff like that. Yes. I did in fact remove it. I removed the code and now I have to upgrade the code in my other code according to the code that was different. You dress me up like an IHOP waitress and bring you coffee? Sure, that's fine. Free old devs. <laughs> Free old devs. Oh. Okay, so let's find this PCAP fix I did. Um, use three second timeout when opening PCAP. So what did I do there? Um, let's look at the parent. Nope, that's not the parent. We're looking at the second parent. There we go. So I just have to find the read timeout in two places. Um, yeah, okay. Let's find this. So negative one is in fact an invalid value. Don't use it. I guess, unless you're on Linux or Windows. Um, let's look at our git diff for, um, whoops, git div source. So yes, that's the diff. Um, let's get add source and let's continue the rebase, I guess. All right, so we're on master again. Ah, sorry, develop, the develop branch. You think everyone's had a curse dream about being in a McDonald's bathroom? Yeah. It's just part of the McDonald's experience. He's always just clown and he's like, go to the bathroom. It's very weird. Okay, we've rebased. I incorporated that patch, I think. We'll have to see. Let's look at the code review and get through this. Um, wait, first... I have to cherry pick something. Let's look at... Yours is to not say for act to, check, to type in chat. Wow, I feel sorry for you. Let's look at the code that I wrote for Windows and we'll see if we can do a bit of that. 
so uh, you can see it's a bit messy. Um, I have some stuff, uh, some fixes here, which I would like to copy, including something that fixes building on MinGW, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit anyway because if I don't do it, someone else is gonna do it. Um, and they're just going to have a harder time. So, a whole bunch of trash there. Um, there's a bug with C slurp. I think I fixed that. So, really, I just want to copy and paste the configure.ac file for now. And then I'll look a bit later at some other refactoring. So git checkout. Um, what's better than looking at codes on a computer? Nothing. So let's just commit this. Wait, did I write to do in this? To do comment? All right. Let's review my really quick code I did. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so one of these things I need to fix in the initial slurp commit. So let's stash this and we're going to just not upstream, it's I, I use upstream usually when I'm writing on forked stuff. So we're going to find the P the slurp stuff. And we're just gonna, I guess, squash this into it. Well, I might, I'll add it as a separate commit um, because it's kind of a bit of a change. And so we're just going to hit the configure.ac, find the slurp code, and we're just going to put the ac message result no above that so it doesn't get stuck, um, so it doesn't ruin the output. You can't pass any of this, therefore I'm smart. So, look and Kaz, form the cause who seems to have gone missing. How's your day? Are you having day? Merge conflict. Alright, so let's see. networking is enabled, add networking libraries last on Windows. That seems decent. I'll put that there. A very cold night? Why? Don't you have like a heater or a house or something? Configure, um, fix, building, building, slap, oh, I mean, gee, don't. yeah, see, since I'm not actually building slurp on MinGW, I'm just going to have to add this and say, trust me. A good kind of cold, not like the freezing cold. So like the cold I am now where my shirt feels damp um, and it's morning. You think things happened and now you're here. Um, that's fair. That's, that's how a lot of life happens. So what do we do in this commit? 
Um, that shouldn't be libraries. That should be fix mingw. Oh wait, fix lip slurp um, libraries. Linking on Windows. There we go. Um, Libs that requires requires icon and networking libraries. As SDLnet already, I think I'm going over the line limit there. Already requires line limits. Lime limits already requires. As SDLNet already requires networking libraries on Windows, refactor and use that code for libslurp networking dependency. Libslurp's library dependencies. How do you feel about a certain scientific railgun, Metal Gear? Use that code for um, networking library dependencies. So that seems about accurate. Let's just look at that again. You know what, I'm actually going to fix that. There we go. Let's actually just fix that so it explains in the code what's happening. How do you feel about Venom Snake and would you include him in your future code? Um, yeah. He's cool. So we've imported that. The other thing that I would like to import from my Windows branch, um, let's just quickly look. Hang on a second. Let's just check this out. No, I don't want to check it out. I want to go... I'll check out the, the MISC thing. You know what? No, I'll just figure that out later. I have some code. I want to separate the platform... I want to separate the platform-specific stuff. So I'll do that too. The other thing I want to do is fix the naming conventions for... Ethernet slurps um, stuff. See, I use underscores here for some reason. So let's see. Get packets, receive packet, time a new, time a free, time a void, poll add, poll get slurp events. Just remove the underscores, it's not helping anyone. Okay, wait a second, did I include, I didn't cherry pick and fix, all right, I'll have to do that in a second, no, I'll do that now, git log um, mine slash whip slurpy, quick fix will squash later, let's just cherry pick that. I don't need the other one since that was never used. All right, let's get back to this. Um, so that's that. So we're just going to... find the things with the underscore and remove that. So receive packet. Um, timer, timer, uh, timers, 
time time is poll poll polls polls and then we'll do I think slurp get our events is another thing poll get slurp our events and we're just going to do that poll get slurp our events Um, I think that should work. I did timers, I did polls. Yep, so... Fix underscore naming convention, and we'll squash that in a bit. Um, at this point, I should probably mer uh, try and build this thing, right? Um, yeah, no, not MinGW, build debug SDL2. So while we're doing that, let's have a look at some of the changes we actually have to make according to code review. Um, head on over to pull requests. And let's have a look. Let's make a file for this. And we'll make some notes. Let's take notes from what people want. Um, so let's see. Yep, that one's fine. Alternate check using configure AC syntax. All right, let's try that. Um, you know what, let's do that now since configuring is still happening. So where do I check for lib slurp? So I use this junk here and this guy suggests that I could use this, this macro. Alright, sorry Bim. So let's see, libs equals libs slurp libs. Cannot find AC message child to find. So. Um, let's put have libs slurp there and have libs slurp no. Um, so does this actually set CPP flags to, I mean slurp C flags? Um, does that set C flags? I don't think it does. So let's actually add a line for that. C flags equals C flags slurp. Why don't I use Sublime Text Editor and Sublime Merge? Look, I installed Atom and I tried to use it, but it's just too complex for me. I guess I'm a boomer. Um, you know what, we're also going to do, instead of that, we're going to do, ah, vim, please. We're going to do have slurp equals no, and then we'll also just add have slurp equals yes, and we'll remove that while I'm at it. And we'll have to add the icon thing there. So that should be the same. How does SDLNet do it? Oh yeah, they use AC check stuff. Okay, let's see if this works. We'll 
also want to read the output AC message checking for libslurps. All right, let's try that. Oops, it's actually over here. So we're just gonna we'll look at the log in a minute, I guess. But yeah, I installed Adam. Um, it's very confusing. It has a lot of things happening. Like, like look at this. It this is the DOSBox directory. Look how laggy this is. I can't do this. It wants my password. No, no. Um. Yeah, so I guess I would be working on this file. You think it's perfect? What's it doing now? It's freaking out because I'm building stuff. It takes so long to open stuff. And it puts all these red lines under stuff and if I right click on it... There's a lot of things hap happening and I don't know how to feel about it. Editor. How do I... How do I get rid of the lines though? Yes, it has a GitHub tab. How do I get rid of the lines? I just don't want these lines there. Correct spelling. I don't want spelling. How do I disable spelling? Is it packages? Why is it? I installed Vim mode, which makes it tolerable. Sorry, um, spell. Spell check, disable. Okay. There we go, that looks a lot better. Um, so what happens if I open a H file? See, it has syntax highlighting, and I don't want that either. Preferences. I don't know. Syntax highlighting? Is that in packages too? themes, core, I just don't want syntax highlighting, uh, and so it's at this point that it's taking me way too long to configure just this editor itself, I just don't is it in view? There's too many things. Am I happy this is on my computer? Well, I just wanted to try it, but there's... There's a lot of things and none of them are the things that I need. This is the config. Should I, should I censor that? I don't know. I don't know what any of this is. Style sheet, is that what it is? Nope. I just want my, I just want the syntax highlighting off. And so, the main problem here is that I would have to Google search how to disable syntax highlighting. Now, granted, Vim isn't much better, like, um, but I can search help syntax, and it has, you know, quick start. This switches on syntax highlighting, syntax on. So I'm like, okay, syntax off, and look, it works. Vim has an entire help manual inside it. 
it's well worth the read. So if I go help here, what do I have? Documentation, flight manual. This might be okay, but using Atom, syntax, 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 Syntax. My syntax team? Okay. Shadow Dom? <laughs> yeah, not like this indeed. I just... It's too much for me. I just don't want the syntax highlighting because it distracts me and... Uh, just how do I turn off syntax highlighting? I'm getting so angry at something that I'm not even using. I don't think I'm missing anything. All right, hang on a second. Does the help feature have a search feature? Can I search for things? Help, search issues. No, that's probably GitHub issues. Can I search issues? What is this website? Why has it got a huge big, is it? A... I hit tab and I can barely see the indicator for focus. Like, what am I focusing on here? If I hit the key, what happens? Is it learn more? The URL says github.atom.com. Can I not click the fork on GitHub button with my keyboard? You failed the basic accessibility test, buddy. Wait, no, that might be harsh. Let's see. Fork. <sighs> Why is there a sign in on a website? I can sign in to Adam. Look. All right, let's search it. How to disable syntax highlighting in Atom. Oh, I have to. I have to install a package called File Types and then change the extensions to be plain text. Are you kidding me? I have to set the file type to plain text. I can't actually turn off syntax highlighting, dude. What? So I have to... It wants me to press Control shift l File... Can I do that from the menu somewhere? How do I... I have to change the file type. Is it in there? Is this a hidden... Key press, control, shift, L, auto detect, plain text. Okay, so I just have to get every single extension for every file that I use, including files that don't have extensions, like this one, that's auto detect. And then I just have to set it to plain text. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. See, this, I use syntax highlighting on the stream here because it helps people, but I can turn it off and I do that in my actual editor on my other computer. Just because it sometimes doesn't work and it confuses my eyes. So it's like, I could probably use this for a stream Maybe? Let's try it. You know what? Let's try it. Let's say this is for streaming today. Let's see. What's our config log? Let's find slurp. Um, what? 
how do I search for stuff? So, is it the slash? I've got Vimodian, so this would be looking for libslurp. Okay, fine. Um, thanks for putting the screen all the way across like that. Checking for libslurp. Checking for slurp. Result, yes. Okay, so... Yes, so we have to edit the slurp. I can turn it off. So I should actually put the term lib slurp here. You know what, let's actually search this. No, no, I think that makes sense. And I think we should also AC define it. I think that's what to do. And then if we don't have it, we put the warning message there. Like, I'm not sure if this is the right way to do it. Wait, let's see how other people do it. No one's using this. Okay, well, are you changing code or am I revising my own code? I'm revising my own code. Wait, is this a mix of tabs and spaces? No. No, we're just going to use tabs. There we go. Have slurp equals no. AC message warn. And then we're just going to put that there and another thing. So will that actually work for us? I will see how this goes. Let's actually um, tee this to a build output. There we go. And I guess we're just going to try messing with this a bit more. So it has a file selection thing. That's cool. You can focus the git tab with control 9. That's easy to remember. You can toggle the github tab with control shift 8. So sometimes you press shift, sometimes you press control. Okay, buddy. You can focus the GitHub tab with Control-8. Okay, whatever. So let's go and find our Ethernet code and do a bit of refactoring with Atom. Oh yeah, um, I have to find it, don't I? Source, misc, Ethernet, snap. Oh, there's a nice lot of... <sighs> what is with these colours? What's with this font? Look. Is it not big enough? Hang on, if we go to... Vim, source, misc, ethernet, slurp.cpp, and we go and we have a look at the same type of code. So what's highlighted here? The types, so void, and then the return statement, and struct, so kind of those keywords. And here, everything's highlighted. All the types here, and the calls to things. <sighs> Okay, whatever. We'll do this. We're gonna do this. I just have to ignore the highlighting. Alright. So we're actually going to try and factor out the platform specific stuff. So do we actually define Windows 
here. Let's see how the Ethernet PCAP thing works. If def win32. Alright, I'm using Vim, so let's do this. Yank control tab. Um what? Oh, you've got a big tab switcher for me. Thanks. I guess. It's not jarring at all. So let's see. If not def defined win32 and if Yep. Be comfy. No, I'm going to use Atom today. I mean, look, it has fancy colors. Did it freeze? What's happened? No, it just... Okay. Something happened there. I'm sure it's nothing. So let's see. We're also going to add an error. No support for Windows yet. Um, And if, wait, no, else. There we go. Wait. I probably shouldn't be doing Win32 here, should I? I should be doing like Unix. Let's see what polar H requires. Man poll. Poll is part of U POSIX 2001, POSIX 2008. Hmm. Is there an if def? No, see, because with the PCAP stuff, we have Windows and then other stuff. So I guess we're just going to do a Windows else something else. We'll see. No support for Windows yet. Um, yep. Include poll. You know what? We're actually just not going to... We're going to always support building with Windows, even if it doesn't work at runtime. What are you going to do with this once it's set up? Multiply gambling? I become a game dev? I'm going to continue my two... How do you save the file? It's not... Control S. So the regular Vim file saving button doesn't work. Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't need... I don't need to use the button that Vim uses to save files. I can just use this. I'm happy and I'm fine with this. This is the modern world. And I'm giving it a chance. So, lib slurp. Um, again, start of the line, please. Which should be... There we go. Checking for lib slurp. Result yes. Okay. That's good. Um, I'll have to check that later a bit more thoroughly with a system that doesn't support lib slurp. So let's add that to our list of notes. Didn't even create my list of notes. All right. Now I'm going to use Adam for my notes. 
Okay, file. New file. Yes. So we have to check that it builds without libslurp. Check that it builds on Windows. Again. File. Save as. DOS stuff. You know what? Today I'm feeling great. I'm going to put a file extension on it. As a treat. People like file extensions. So, what next? Is this building? Yep. That looks decent. Um, did I enable slurp for MinGW? No. No, I didn't. Wait. What's happened? This is out of date code. There we go. Game dev? No. DOS box dev. Emulator dev. I bet I can be a better game dev than him. Probably, yeah. I don't even play many video games. So, the next thing we're going to do is, as you can see, I have some Win32 stuff here. Nice. Um, so, what we're going to do is on Windows 32, we're just going to runtime error out. Uh, log message. Slurp not implemented on Windows. Wait until I get a 5950X, 6900X TPC gaming is all I will do. I mean, I could compile some kernels using that, right? Return false. Um, and if. There we go. Control S for saving. I know how to save stuff. So we're going to also have to break off all the stuff to do with polling. And in practice, this means these three functions here are platform specific. And we're going to have to take out poll from here. And so what we're going to do is, um, what would we name it? Poll, poll. You know what? Oops. Okay. This is unacceptable. This is absolutely unacceptable. The Vim plugin does not make Control O jump back to where I was before. Let me explain how this works. In Vim, if I like do something like this, and then I go down, I'm like, okay, I can press Control O to go back to where I was, um, which in this case doesn't work. How the hell does it work? There's jump points somewhere. Um, control O. I think it just works whenever I move the cursor. Nope. How the hell does that work? I've been using it. I don't know how it works. Older cu cursor position in jump list. A jump is a command that normally moves the cursor several lines away. You make a cursor jump the position of the cursor before the jump is remembered. Alright, so if I do like... Okay, I'm going to go down a screen. Then I can go back a screen. I can go up a screen. And... Config.guess opens. Thanks. Down a screen. Why is config guess opening? You know what? 
I guess forward back doesn't count as a jump. So it'd be like, um... I think what happens is this. You move around, and you do some stuff with your cursor, like high there. And then you move around, and then you do some more stuff with your cursor. And then if you want to go back, you hit Control o What the fuck am I doing? How come that works sometimes? See what jumps are. Testing what's up. Let's go down here. Um, testing what's not up. Control O takes me back here. And then there. Wow, is that broken? Wow. I guess I don't need that? I mean, I think I've been using it. Maybe it just needs me to take some time between stuff. Like, I work on this area here, used. Okay, let's go up here. Um, change something else. Yeah, so I guess that's what happens. Um, I guess I just have to wait a bit of time and it will settle with the value. And so usually I'll like be working somewhere in a file like, oh, I want to copy and paste all that. And then I want to work down here and delete some stuff. And then I'm like, oh, I want to go back. And it doesn't work. Wow. I hate that. Well, I guess we're not using it. I guess I'm putting that in my DOS stuff stuff. Weird. Okay. So... We want to make a, com a um, thing called, also, hi, Quashy Quashy. Um, if we go there, pull add, pull here, and we're going to add a command called polls poll, and we're going to return if it failed or not, and we're going to take a timeout. I'm shook. I'm shook. Hang on a second. Vim doesn't remember jumps. Why is Vim not remembering my jumps? Don't give me the Illuminati symbol, please. Oh, I'm... I'm confused. Vim, you've betrayed me. You must be trash. Did Atom break it? Maybe. Vim, control, oh, whoops. So VS Code Vim is looking in adding that. How does Vim's control O? Jump list? I'm getting off track here, but... Alright, so let's see.
Am I using... Okay, I think what's happening... Let's try looking at Vim again, because I might just be using it um, without thinking about it. Because I swear I've never had a problem with this jump list like I have today. Um, I guess I'll edit this file using... Um, I'll edit this file while for VS Code stuff, so... Not VS Code, I'll edit this file using Atom instead. So... Oh, there's an error? How dare you give me errors? Cannot find icon. Oh, that's true. That's true. Wait, there's other stuff here? Ah, uh, okay, so my code here is broken. On Windows, so let's fix icon. I'll have to just hard code that in Windows. All right, so we're editing using Vim. Why do I make break broken code? I don't know. Today it's not going too good, is it? So we're going to go to the slurp thing and we're going to change this to timeout uh, milliseconds. And use control S for saving. All right, so. Um, bool, get packets. We're going to do poll, poll, and then we're going to do uint32t, timeout, milliseconds, and then we're going to do our open bracket, and we're going to just put this here. Um, return ret. Greater than negative one, I think. What am I doing? I'm having some weird issues today. So yes, it will succeed if um, it's not negative one. Like it's not negative one or less. And so we're just going to put... Poll, poll. Let's see. So it's gonna poll and mm -hmm. let's just remove that negation. No, it's not. We're gonna keep it negation so this returns true if it succeeded, and then we'll return turn. Um, we'll have to invert it using a not there. Okay. So we're gonna put that down here. So we're going to have poll add, poll get slurp events. And let's just put poll clear um, above everything else. So to order them in kind of the way that the program runs them. Good. Um, yeah, what is with you today, Vim? Wait, what? Jumps. Are you kidding me? Wait. I'm at jump zero there. Have I tried eating Vim? Am I somewhere in the jump list that I shouldn't be? Jump 18, jump 18, jumps 18, 
jump. 18. Why are you saying trailing characters? Help jump. Okay, so it would be 18 control O. Help, I'm stuck in the jump list. What the hell? Is that what my issue has been? Where am I now? Okay. So, if I go down a little bit, and I go back up, my jumps are working again. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Okay, I need to... I think my jumps are working again. So I'm at jump zero there. No, I don't want to record a macro. So if I type some stuff here, test, test, test. And I go down here and I type test, test, test. And I jump back. It takes me to here. Why? God, I'm so angry. I'm going to be talking to the VMIRC about that. I'm going to talk to their manager. Maybe I need to just do it slower. Yep, so let me go down there. And then maybe I need to go up here and then type stuff. And then I go back. It takes me to initialize. Why? What's happened here? I was never at initialize. How do I get to initialize? Let's look at the jumps again. So, test that, 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 that has the static cast. How did that get there? You know what? I'm debugging this now. Turn the computer off? No, I'm going to figure this out. So, let's say I'm doing work here. I'm at clock get nanoseconds. You know what? I'm going to change that to clock no time. Wow, that's a bug. I haven't noticed it. But I'm going to head on down to my poll stuff. Alright. Now, what are my jumps like? It's not there. Why is it recording a macro now? I don't want a macro. Hmm. Vim is dead. Sorry, Juke here. Look, see? It jumped now. jumped me to back here. So is it time-based? It shouldn't be. Alright, let's try this again. We're going to go over here, and we're going to wait there for a little bit. And we're going to see if it just figures out what's happening. And while we do that, we're going to do clears, poll. Yep, that's fine. And on Windows, it will do polls. Um, it will not use um, polls. We might actually just want to remove that space there. Okay. So that seems about right. Now let's go back and look. One fifty-two. So now if I jump down and we're going to write um, if not def win32 
Whoops. So I made a mistake there. Let's look at the jump list. Control O to go back. And it puts me at clock get nanosecond. What? Oh, I have no idea what the hell is happening. Is this a bug? Hang on. I'm going to... I'll look at it later. I'll focus. I'm supposed to be doing dust box stuff here. So, we have the platform specific code here. Wait, I'll use Adam for this. Gosh. Alright. Whoops. I'm supposed to be using Vim mode for this. So we have polls clear here, if def win 32. Um, I'm going to add an else, and then we're just going to add dummy stuff here. So this is just going to do nothing. This is going to void fd, void slurp events, so like it's not using them, then it's going to return zero, then here it's going to return false, because it always has this issue. Um, And then this is going to always return zero and void IDX. Should probably have some assertion there. No, no asserts. All right, that seems fine. So we have some code here for Windows. And some code here for Linux. Great. Great, great, great. So let's go check this out. And let's build this. All right, how do I build stuff from Adam? Okay, so something bad is happening there. How do I build stuff from Adam? File, edit. Can this build things? View, developer. View git tab. Oh, uh, you know what? Time cop? I don't know it. I don't need that. Can I build stuff? File, was it F5? No, um, how do you build stuff in Atom? What's the point? Do I need a configuration? Edit preferences, install, uh, make, which allows you to run GNU make. Um, there's a lot of packages here for running make. Um, I guess I should pick the one with the most downloads. Okay. Compile the currently active C++ file. Shortcut to compile run F6. TDM GCC. What's that? GCC compile or Windows friendly. Do I want this? Okay, well, let's install this. The thing I really want from a text editor is having to install plugins for functionality. 
is there a plugin for disabling disabling um, syntax highlighting? God, I gotta put a jacket on. Syntax off. Disable syntax. We're making things happening. Yeah. This will disable anti-aliasing. What are you talking about? Plain text. I don't want emoji syntax. Simple text highlighting for text plain files. That's the opposite of what I want. Alright. So, packages. So, settings. What do I do? How do I use? I, pr I think I'm supposed to press F6. So, let's do this. F6. Okay. That's not what you do. Control Shift F6 to, to make the whole project. Like... Compile run F6, run options, control, control F6. That's not working. Command F6, I don't have a command. Okay, it might be in packages. It's not in packages, um, but it's something I can do all the time from a document. So it might be in the right click menu. All right, okay. Contri compile run. Um, toggle run options. Compiler flags. Wait, can I do I have to right click on the folder and do compile? Look. Execute make file from tree view. Gotcha. So we just have to find the make file, and we just have to compile it, uh, run it, there, make run, haha, -ha. easy, I did it guys, where's my output for make, where's the output, what's it, is it doing something? Turn on this to log the executed commands and output in console. Is it making things still? What's happening? Did it work? Please! Why are you not getting angry at text editors again? Maybe I need to enable debug mode. That logs it to the console. Okay, packages. So where is the console? View developer console, console. Pains, is it in pains? I can't go to view. It won't let me go to view because it's blocking pains. Console. Turn on this flag to log the output to console. All these are buttons? Oh wow! Thanks for telling me that these are buttons. I thought they were just notifications. Are there more buttons here? Oh! These things that look exactly like text with no indication that they're buttons are actually buttons. Okay. Are there any more hidden buttons?
All right, compile run. Maybe I need to run that again on the make file and it will show me the console or something. Make run. Atom console. Is that a package? Control Alt I. Okay. An Emacs style console interface. That's not what I want. I want to Control Alt I. Control Alt I. Is that Control Alt L? Control Alt. Is that a lowercase l or an uppercase i? Or is that a pipe? Is that the number one? Alright, control or l. Control or... Great, I locked my computer screen. I got duped. I got tricked. I got tricked. So it's not control or l. I hope, because that locks my computer. Control Alt Shift I. No. Console is the rightmost tab. Look, I'm trying to like this. Control Shift L. Is that an L? Is that an L? L, I, so it's a capital I, control shift, capital I, yes, console, now we run make to get the output, and there's nothing, well, Is make running? I guess. Let's just kill it. Is that kill it? Make. Alright, so I'm going to have to be using make in the terminal because I guess I'm a boomer and I just can't understand how to run make from a text editor. Am I out of touch? I must be, right? There's no way. All right, let's just have a look at our git diff. And so that should work, I think. Oh, I've got some spacing problems there. Am I using tabs somewhere? Okay, so I'm using tabs everywhere here. So that's the consistent thing. And so edit source misc ethernet slurp. Am I using tabs here? Yep. Am I using tabs here? Yep, just need to add another tab. Gotcha. I did it. Kind of. Oh, it gave me a compile error here, so it did work, kind of. That's a warning. Maybe. Um, what? Oh, compile error because I terminated it. So we're doing a good old make there. 
let's look at our make file, our configure file, and see how I can fix this icon stuff. Configure. Let's put it on C, I guess, there. Um, where is libslurp? So on Windows, libslurp needs iconv. How am I going to add that there? Hmm. I'm starting to think that using package check modules isn't going to work here. Because it's, it's not the same as what everyone else is doing. Library test. Lib icon. Hmm, so I'm not really convinced about that, that uh, slurp stuff. Package check modules. Because I need to... I need to add icon before slurp. If it's on Windows. And uh, I'd have to do a case host for that. But shouldn't it have icon? Okay, so no declaration matches poll poll. Unterminated if. Oh, did I end up not adding an extra end if? Gotcha. Um, and then we're going to find where I used timeout by accident. There we go. Poll poll. So, somehow that hasn't been written. Polls poll. So where's poll poll? Poll poll, and then we're going to do polls poll. Replace all. Cut and paste. Um, let's see. Will that work? Hmm. Let's look more at this. I do want it to build on MinGW. Hmm. Because I do want it to eventually work on MinGW. So, what's ref and make? Sorry, it would be in ref. ref make files, ref static make files, make mingw. Yeah, so this doesn't add slurp support. And that's probably fine. Timeout. Pull FD's fill. Alright, so I changed that as well. Such s s unnecessary errors. 
No, I put a slash there. There we go. Save. That's weird. Weird and unnecessary. <laughs> I think that should be fine. Okay, so undefined reference to slurp cleanup. So it's not actually added the slurp lib. Why is that? Package check modules is not working for the library. Um, let's check the config stuff and we'll see. Um, Does all this need to be lib slurp instead of slurp because I renamed it? Make config.status. I'm looking for config.log. And we're looking for slurp, lib slurp, lib slurp, libs. All right. Okay, so that should be lib slurp, lib slurp, lib slurp. Okay, so let's make this again. Try and make it a bit faster. And then just stare at this, because on Windows it requires icon. Why is that? It should require it on Linux, shouldn't it? Or is that a glib dependency? Hmm. Hmm. I might have to add it in this block below. That might have to be a space there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it built. Does it work? Oops. Okay, let's just boot this up. Wait, no, this isn't what I was testing it with, was it? I was testing it with my um, FreeDOS machine. Okay, let's see if this works. Will we get networking? How am I doing, buddy? I'm doing good. How are you? Let's try pinging Google. If your girlfriend took you to Applebee's on a date, would you be offended or fine with it? I'd be fine with it, I think. I mean, I've never been to Applebee's. HT get all right so that all works kind of and I've split off the platform specific stuff so what I'm gonna do now 
is define win32. And we'll see if this still compiles. And we'll look at this configure stuff. Jeez. I mean, it's better, I think. But it's also gonna get my boy some apples. They own, they actually have apples at Applebee's. I'll have to figure out how to do the Win32 stuff a bit later, perhaps on my actual Windows computer. Okay, so already we're getting an error here because it wants to use Win32. And that makes sense because I told it to do that. So let's just quickly delete that block. We'll put it, no, let's just put if not def win32 there. I want this to at least build on win32. So someone can port it without having to go through the heck that is make files and stuff. So let's see what happens if we pretend that we're on win32 and we run it. Oops, wrong folder. Let's see, does slurp say that it's failed? Slurp not implemented on Windows yet. Okay. And so this should not, like, destroy anything? Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, perfect. So just no networking works with Slurp on Windows. That's good. So Slurp now builds on Windows, which is something, I guess. And let's, yep, so save that. Did I write capitals? So let's commit this. Um, let's see. Git diff configure.ac. What has happened? Has... Atom, have you changed the new lines? Atom... Atom... White space... I don't know. Ignore changes in white space. End of line. I don't know. I'm just going to git add p configure.ac. Nope, 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 nope. Yes. No. Just exit. 
wait, no, let's edit. Git diff. See what our commit's going to be. Um, configure use package check module use package dot use package check modules I think that's what it is configure flip slab um, that also fixes the icon stuff I think yeah. Um, then we're going to git add source git. Oh no. Has this? Oh, please don't tell me this is no. Don't add all the source. Git reset source. Git add u source. So let's see. Ethernet slap um, factor out platform specific code and build on Windows. There we go. All right. So let's look at some. Uh, let's look at our to do list. That needs to be done later when we try building it on Windows. Check that it builds without libslurp. All right, let's try that. Um, so we're just gonna find, and we're just gonna pretend to load for, wait, what's happened there? Try finding slurp two instead, and then we'll just try and make it. And we'll see if that works. Um, let's look at our code review. So we've implemented that change. So here they bring up a, a valid question. A valid complaint. Most network calls indicate success or failure or quantity, but I realize we're not directly interfacing TCP IP and USP hack and so calls to their send and receive calls, not return anything. And so here I have get packets, which doesn't um, return any errors. Now, the reason why I don't actually return any errors is because there's not much we can do about it const std string backend all right use const string backend but would most strongly suggest switching this to an enum for the backend type that would move backend config passing to that code section which then assigns the enum value that's passed into this function Uh, it'd be difficult with the configuration way things are done. Like, I don't think the DOSBox configuration a support, API supports enums. So let's go vim source misc ethernet. Um, where do we have that? Const std string. So this just avoids copying stuff in memory. Okay, um, so they bring up a good point. We need to do error logging for when things go bad. Mm -hmm.
specifies which of your network interfaces is used for libpcap. So let's do that as well. Source docsbox.cpp libpcap specifies your host which host network interface is used for libpcap. Okay, that's done. What else? Yeah, I'm not touching code to refactor that yet. Um, Ethernet equals zero. They want me to use null pointer for Ethernet there, but that's not what the existing code does. And I really don't want to just change things when I'm copying code that's supposed to be copied, since that makes things extremely difficult to debug. No mass cleanup for now. Returns the number of bytes. Um, PCAP send packet. Should we log the number of bytes? Um, again, there's not really much reason to. Error logging for pcap slap. How's my build doing? Alright. So I'm not going to touch that. Slurp send packet sounds confusing. Sweet boy builds, yeah. So let's find my trash slurp code. And let's look here, slurp, slurp send packet. Receive packet. Let's change that. There we go. Receive packet. Clarify name. All right, so that's going to be that change. Let's see. Send packet uses a const and we're casting away the const. Why is that? Do we actually need that to not be const? Ideally, that should be const, right? Um, especially for pcap or anything. Const, yeah, we're just gonna, whoops. We're just gonna make that const. And so get packet is instead going to be const. And we'll do that for slurp as well. I mean pcap, since this is a change in the API. Um, so we have to go to include and to Ethernet. And then this would be const. Um, we should also make the buffer here const. Buffer 
Yeah, let's do that. And we'll just see if we can make things as constant as possible, because that's kind of how you want. Receive packet, send packet. It's a const day for everyone. Everyone gets a const. Um, let's find, where else do I use packets? Send packet, that's a const now. So the ABI is going to use const for stuff. Good. Now will the PCAP code like that? I don't know. Let's see. Ethernet, so we just find const. Const, put a space there. And we're going to do ethernet pcap.c. Oh, there it is. All right. So let's find our buffer stuff. This code is a bit messy. But it's not my code, so it's fine. const ucar packet data um i'm not going to change that even though it's a bit even though it's wrong i'm not going to refactor it okay what next We've got our const boys. Better error message, yeah. Select would be needed for Windows, I've discussed that. So timers and polls and stuff. Quashi says, man, I updated my drivers and I get better performance than on Windows with post-processing effects enabled. I, I'm so happy, uh, that's good. Are you still an Nvidia simp? Is that what it is? Is that what we call things? Um, so we want, really, really want this to be um, a variable array. So let's put that in our stuff. Make polls and 6800 XT. Is that a driver? Now they suggest using a STD vector there, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. Could be cool. Scroll down. Fuck off. I don't care if some aren't. What happened here? What's this? Oh, I added config. Dot ah! So that's not actually my code here. I accidentally slipped this in, and this JC thing is John Campbell, so. Oops. What am I trying to do? I'm just doing code review and cleanup for um, a DOSBox patch that adds easy networking. I thought I removed that. Um, yep, 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 yep. And let's read through the comments of what people want. 
Should this be done on all functions that only accept void? So I think another thing this person wanted, uh, KC Gen, was to remove stylistically get rid of empty void functions. Alright, so we're going to write void to just empty parentheses. Let's see. Because I replied to a lot of these. Yep, and I talked about Windows stuff. Someone tried that. Let's see. And we're going to have to get rid of enable because it's useless at the moment and useless config stuff is trash config stuff. So let's see what we're going to do this stream because most of the stuff I'm going to have to do uh, later just to see like the Windows stuff I'll have to do later off stream and to find out why Vim jumps are weird. So let's just put this at the bottom. Error logging for PCAP and slurp. Um, I don't really want to do that today. I'll put that at the bottom. And I guess that's what we're going to be doing over the next hour or so. Having fun, Duke, my boy. Hi, DPA. Yes, I'm having a mild amount of fun. When I do timer add, timer new, I return a timer that I've created and then timer free. So, for the timers, I just need to have that be a large C array a variable C++ array, like a vector. Um, let's see what C++ version this project uses. Oh, we got an error. No matching function call to Ethernet connection get packets. All right, yes, that is fair because I didn't change that. Get packets. Let's make that a const. And let's make that. Let's also see if we can make this text a bit bigger. Um, core themes. Edit the UE theme. Font size. Let's bust that up to 14. Is that the font size for the UI? Okay, so let's bust that down to 13. Welp, good luck. Thank you. So the font size doesn't seem to affect, oh no, it does affect like the tabs at the top, but that's not very helpful. Um, Settings, themes, I think I need to change the syntax theme to get um, the actual text bigger. Although that does look big enough. Um, let's see, syntax theme, text inside the editor, so themes, one dark, so is there a way to Set the font size? No? Okay. It's just how it be, I guess.
So we're compiling that. We're going to check that it builds without lib slurp. So that's what we're currently doing. Make poles in time is variable length. So I need to see what C++ version we're using. C++ 11? No. It doesn't look like we're really using a C++ version. Um, dot data. It's unclear at best what C++ version we're using. Hmm. What about this? Does that show us that we're using a vector with data? Um, dot data. Okay, so we are actually using a vector here with the dot data function. So that gives us precedent for using um, a vector and data. Neat. Sick. Tight. Etc. Groovy. Yes, I'm eating a little bit, okay? I'm hungry. So, hmm. let's see what we've changed so far. You know what? Let's try and use Adam's Git interface for this. Unstage changes. So, how do I only show? How do I make this bigger? I need more files. I need to see more. Split left. Okay, that gives me even less space. No, I've got uh, Sultanas. Can I pull this out? Yay! Kind of. I still want the unstaged changes. Like, I need more than this. I need to be able to... Can I pull this down? How do I get to see more of my unstaged changes? What's that? Stage all? No, I don't want to do that. Split up? That just seems to duplicate it. Yeah, that creates two kind of Duplicates, close pane. Um, that close all my open files. How, oops, how do I undo that? I guess I can't undo that. Undo close pane? Nope, it's gone forever. And now I have my on stage changes is just compressed and I can't see it at all. Why? I've lost all my files. Okay. That's fine. I didn't need to have files anyway. Okay, so that worked. I'm just going to close Atom for a bit. 
while I do some real work. Kit. So let's see. You know what, I'm going to make a git ignore. Uh, I think I overwrote the git ignore. So let's just see all this junk. Uh, let's just not even try and track swap files. Uh, build log, get ignore to, no, we want to track those. Um, and changes to VS 2015 stuff. Great. There. There we go. Now, now I actually have git ignore stuff. But it still tracks changes to the VS 2015 stuff. I guess that's just what git does. Whatever. Fine. At least there's less trash. So let's see what the git diff is. So there's no changes to configure.ac, I don't think. Just all the uh, new line stuff. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Uh oh. Did this change all the new lines on the any 2k stuff? <sighs> Adam. That's not what I want. All right, let's work on this. So let's git commit source dosbox dot cpp um, dosbox reword pcap documentation um, git commit source. Let's see. Is the rest of it just the const? Uh, all right. Git diff. Git diff source misc. Is any of this mangled in horrible ways? Yep, 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 yep. All right. God. Okay. Well, Adam, it looks like you failed my test of dealing with files. Yep. I want to change that. I want to change that. Wait. No. No. Let's add all the constant packet stuff, but not the constant string stuff. No, 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 no. Well, guys, this this stream so far has been my experience with Atom, and uh, I'm not going to be using it again. The end. since it, it helpfully fixes stuff that I don't want fixed. What is that anime? Is that the Concha? She's holding up her hand and waving. Is that like by Atom? All right, do I have anything else that I need to commit 
in this commit. No. Um, Ethernet make packet constant. Yeah, did you like it? Do I do good? Yeah, you done did good. Make packet const. Um, we're gonna add the string thing so it doesn't copy the string. Ah. No, 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 no. All right, and we're going to do git copy ethernet. Don't copy std string. Congrats. And then we're going to add, we're going to commit the change to the slurp. Ethernet slurp. Rename um, slurp send packet to slurp receive packet. Is that how you spell receive? I should probably check that before committing it, right? Receive with an I first. Nope, it has an I afterwards. Nice. It even has the word receive in the file itself from the copyright header. All right. So we're going to git checkout source misc. Just source, I guess. Now let's... Um, make the file uh, nice make j2 and let's check on our to-do list check that it builds I gotta remove that let's just do that now rm VS2015 config.h. Backup. Let's find which commit introduces that and just zap it, I guess. Um, get rebase upstream develop. What? Oh, I see. Stash my changes. Okay. Um, let's just edit this one. Get RM. Which file was it? Source VS2015. It might just be in the VS2015 file. Config.h.backup. Um, let's see. Get commit amend. Check out the stat. Um, can I do that? All right. There we go. So we've removed that. It's okay, Jukes. I don't know how to spell a program. Me either. Let's see. Do I have any void stuff? Let's just zap functions that just have a void in it. Let's see, source misc. 
grab boy uh, void uh, it's only grab the ethernet stuff so it's in the it's in the um, it's in a lot of stuff so what we're just going to do is not find and replace but we're just going to find void and just delete that void 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 where is it where is it where is it there we go good V at include ethernet.h. Are you kidding me? I missed the D. All right. Um, void. And then we change that to that. Let's just check the changes. Looks good. All right, let's uh, tick that off our list. Uh, remove enable config. I don't know how I'm gonna do this yet since I still wanna comp add documentation in the DOSBox configuration thing. Like um, the configuration parts, they don't really explain much. There's only um, explanations for options. So if we find the Ethernet block, you see I have, um, in this config at least, I have this big block about enabling the Ethernet slurp backend. Um, and then the PCAP based backend there. And I don't think there's a way to just I might just shove it in the, the back end explanation here and just make that long and then we can reference it later. That should be fine. So let's go back. Um, Find the back end. And we'll just try and shove that over here. I'll fix that in a second. But then we drop the enable properties for both of these. And then we find, um, I think, Let's see which commits I add enable in. I use enable. Um, let's 
So I use it in the initialize section of stuff. Do I do it in the PCAP section? No, I don't. Okay. So, SDL. No, it would be GUI SDL main. And that's for some reason where we do. The migration for uh, real Nick to pick up. Okay. So let's see. Let's go to. Um, we also should add the none type. I think. Oh no. Should there be a dummy back end or something? Who knows? It doesn't matter. Since that would be adding stuff and right now we're just polishing. So let's go to source misc. I'm already in source, aren't I? Let's grab for enable. And only Slurp uses it? Far out, dude. There we go. And we'll have to now deal with the headache that is making a very long configuration thing. Um, back end. So let's see how the DOSBox configuration does this for some other things where it has multiple options. Auto lock possible values. So it says possible values there. So let's see. Possible values. Um, No, this is weird. I just want to be able to add documentation for... Just general documentation for config stuff. I guess I can't. Well, the value should be should be the identifier of an Ethernet second config section. For example, to use Ethernet slurp, set this value to slurp. Um, I guess I'll just delete this documentation. Um, maybe there's other documentation somewhere else. Whatever. Unless like sections can have help, but I don't see any of that. At all. Uh, 
That's fine. I hate it a bit, but that's fine. Lines in this section will be run at startup. Can I just add comments? But that would be different from what everyone else does. So I'm a sheep. We're going to be a sheep. I'm sorry. So I'm going to remove the enable config. So we'll have to test that. Um, so in the meanwhile, we're going to be making polls. Uh, what, what, let's look at the logging for um, for stuff. So let's say we're in PCAP. Now there's already no logging, so I'm not going to touch that. Unless the original file did logging, let's check that. I'm not going to add PCAP logging. Let's just see if I lost any logging. I don't think I did. Like, it doesn't check about PCAP close or um, open or whatever. I'm just going to say that's fine. Does libslurp add no installation headers? Yeah, so let's look at adding slurp logging. So, let's see. Also, let's just grab our stuff for to do. Um, to do. Replace polls with select. So it's just the polling code and the error messages and stuff, which I'm going to hopefully refactor today. All right. So then I'd have no to do's left in my code. So we log the error there. So when slurp gets us a packet, we're going to receive packet. What does that do? Get packet callback. What does the callback do? Does it tell me if it actually added the packet? Should I, should I log that? Like if it was able to buffer it? I mean, no, not really. The um, driver should do that. All right, so what about sending packets and opening and shutting failures? So we'll have to open up our dusty old copy of libslurp. Okay, so we have an error here. Get packet callback should be unsigned. So get packet callback once. Have I not, what? Is my packet callback not good enough for you? Did I not change this? No, I didn't. Oops. All right, while this builds, I'm just gonna be right back since I need to hit the washroom with the boys.
except not with the boys, alone, by myself. I'm back, assholes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, let's continue on. Has this built? All right, it built. So let's see. What do I need to quickly add as a fix? Let's see, let's get death with our source. So let's get add. Hey, Kaz, what's up? Get commit log. Fix packet const. Perfect spelling. Source git commit v. You made dinner. You're full of apples. All right. Remove enable options. Control X, please. Okay, so let's see if this even works. Run. Yep, so let's go to configuration tool. Backend. Yep. Backend works. Ethernet PCAP, Ethernet Slurp. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's continue booting and see if things work. We're getting there. We're getting there. Alright, so let's see. Error logging for slurp. I'm doing the most annoying stuff first. Which is why, that's the order I try to do stuff in most annoying stuff, because I have like the willpower to do it first. Okay. And then it's just clear skies from then. All right, which, where's my terminal? All right, do I have the slurp car open? Elon Musk wants to send poor people to Mars and you'll have jobs there so they can work their debts off. Did he seriously say that or are you satiring? Because I'm not sure. Now, if he wanted to get rid of poor people, couldn't he just like give them money? Wouldn't that work too? They'd stop being poor. Okay. And I also like how we call people poor people. Like that's part of their identity. You're poor. That's just part of who you are. Poor people, homeless people. That's that's just their part of their identity that we're gonna give them. Alright. We're looking for stuff to do with slurp. I want some better log and error messages. So let's see. Let's find our DOS junk stuff folder. Um, it's not here. Okay, so I don't have the slurp. Is it here? Slurpy. Yeah, all right. So libslurp.h So let's see. Slurp new might fail. Do we log that? Where's my code? Slurp new. Okay, so we currently say slurp failed to initialize.
he is selling all his real estate and moving to Texas because there's no income tax there. The SpaceX founder said he plans to send 1 million people to Mars by 2050 and build a fleet of 1,000 starships to ferry them there. Musk aims to launch three of the 387-foot rockets SpaceX is developing for deep space travel each day. Unless you think that a trip to Mars is too pricey for most people, Musk says he intends there to be loans available for those who don't have money and jobs on the red planet for colonists to pay off their debts. So he wants a he wants slave planet. Is that what he wants? He just wants there to be slaves. And he's gonna have a slave planet. Cause like, there's no laws on Mars yet, are there? I mean, I suppose he'd be an American business still, so he, you know. Where's my libslurp.c file? Slurp.c. So if slurp fails, return value, if fail, it just returns null. So there's nothing we can really do about it. Um, okay. Thanks. To mask parting ways with his material possessions also signals that he's committed to going to Mars. I'm just trying to make it clear that I'm serious about this, he said, and it's not about personal consumption because people will attack me and say, oh, he's got all these possessions. He's got all these houses. Okay, now I don't have them anymore. Yeah, that's what people are upset about with you. Okay. Slurp update timeout. Paul FD's fill. Let's avoid. Slurp uh, input. So there's no error for that. Let's just double check. It just returns. Okay. And slurp add guest forward add slurp connection info. What's that? That seems like a debug thing. Socket can receive slurp state save slurp state version slurp version string. We should actually, we should definitely log that. Slurp version found. Slurp version. Slurp get version string. And so that's mostly if there's people erroring or complaining. Slurp version string. And are we going to find um, all these star comments and get rid of them? I don't think we use star comments in DOSBox. I guess we do. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. All right. So as far as I'm concerned, we have error messaging handling there. Oops. And the other big thing is documentation. I'm going to have to put a bunch of documentation for stuff. I'll do that off screen. So what we're going to do now is finish probably, hopefully, the last of the coding work for this patch. Um, let's see. What, what am I doing? Okay. So most of it's going to be focused on here. One thing I actually did in my branch for Slurp on Curry, which we're going to quickly review. Curry is the name of my Windows laptop. Okay, um, timeout to do there. Registering, that's extra stuff. Polls clear. Um, I added a section for registered poll stuff. Why the names? What names? Oh shit, I got a text. Um, I named them after the moons of Saturn. All right. Poll ad registered. Why are people messaging me? Is that you, Kaz? Jeez. Okay. Polls ad registered. So I added a new function called polls ad registered. What was it? Poll. Register and unregister. Okay, it was poll register. Um, so, poll register, I added that there. And all that does is call poll unregister. All right, yeah, so it unregisters it if it's available. All right. So I'll have to copy and paste that. All right. Is that a list? Yeah. I think I have to include the list for this. Hmm. So basically the idea here is that I'm going to be having um, std list of um, ints and we're going to put registered fds.
And so all that is is going to be putting it on the um, list there. And whenever we're adding um, descriptors and stuff, we'll just have to wait. What was it? how did I std remove? Okay, yeah. Poll register, poll line register. So let's say. Poll register. Yeah, we need that. Poll unregister. Polls add registered. And so this is just going to be registered file descriptors that, for whatever reason, Slurp wants us around to keep around. Yep. So let's go to our slurp code register. And so what we're going to do there, going to do, what did I just name the, the function? Hang on a second. B2, poll register, register. FD, and then we're going to do poll unregister. So you have some code there that will now register um, and unregister the file descriptors. And then we're just going to have to add um, some commands for that. So let's see, where would it be? Poll add. So this is generic code, so it's actually going to go up here. Or I guess here. Poll. That's what they did during the election and why Biden won. Sorry, what? Did I say something? Poll unregister FD. So we're always going to unregister it first, I guess. They unregistered the polls. Listen. <laughs> That's not how it works. So we remove the... FD is registered. Should I actually call it that? FD is registered. Slurp callback registered FDs. I'm going to call it registered FDs. Okay. And then that's actually returning a void. Well, it's not returning anything. Let's check that I actually wrote that down properly. Poll register and poll unregister. And then I'm not going to try returning those. Um, here. There we go. Ooh, I just got door knocked. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to go.
My God, people. Just coming up to my door and talking. Kind of stream. This is why I hate having a family in life. Just kidding. Okay, so... I'm going to be going in about, I don't know, a few minutes. So we're just going to wrap up with this um, poll registration stuff. Because it turns out people want to use the internet that they pay for. And with the way I have my streaming stuff done, it just floods the network. I got to live in a camper in the woods. So we added the register stuff. Uh, polls add registered. So that would be in. I'm just going to do that. So what will happen is um, we'll have. Um, did I write a bull for that? It should be void. Polls add registered. And so what happens there is that, did I write void in that? Hang on. No, good. And so what will happen then is um, it's just gonna iterate through them using this horrible C++ code and add them. Gotta learn prepping skills, please. No, I don't wanna be a prepper. Now you may have noticed that the code that I imported is absolute trash. And that's because I deliberately am rewriting it, but I'm still copy and pasting it. Um, and so what's gonna happen then is, what if you were out in the woods practicing with your trash archery and a kangaroo came up and kicked your ass? Um, I'd probably bleed out from it slashing open my abdomen. Okay, Paul, would you be demoralized or would you go further? I don't know. If I survived, I'd probably just go back to go back to like town. All right, and so there should be one more thing that I need to add. So I added list, and I need some junk for algorithm. So do I have algorithm? I should add algorithm. And let's see if this makes. Nope, poll add. Why did I write it with a lowercase? What if the kangaroo was my wife? Look, don't talk to me or my kangaroo wife ever again. Registered FS. So slurp version string, the code that I added there was broken. You wanted to ask if she was cute? Bro, my kangaroo wife will rip you up. My grandma had a kangaroo that would walk to school with her. But they had to send it back because you can't have a kangaroo at school. Could not convert. So that's a C++ error, which means I'm gonna have to fix it off stream. It's a, what do you mean what? It's a C++ error. Um, anyway, this is the end of the stream because unfortunately I have to go because my mother needs the internet. 
and we skull these sultanas, and I will end the stream. See ya, see ya, see ya.